Hello and welcome to our quality control channel by Presto and I am Vishal Malhotra your quality coach. Today in this episode I'm going to get you closer to another instrument which is the bursting strength tester. This instrument is such an important instrument in your laboratory. If you are a corrugator or a converter you need to watch this video till the end. I'm very sure that we will be able to create a lot of value for you where we are going to sh showcase and demonstrate some of the finer nuances, the finer aspects of using a bursting strength tester in your laboratory. This is a pres Presto bursting strength tester. It has two gauges and two valves. These valves are used to choose a particular gauge which we use and a simple push button. This by far is one of the most simple instrument to check your bursting strength and your bursting factor of your corrugated boxes. This is a clamp and I'm going to use a corrugated box sample over here which I have cut for easy usage. We're going to open the clamp and now we're closing it. Here you have to take care that you should not tighten it very hard or tighten it very loose. Many a times I have seen customers tightening it so hard that the bursting strength changes. They like to squeeze the flutes till they get the sample really tight. So there is no need to tighten it very much. We close one of the valves. Always, always remember the first gauge to be used is a 0 to 35 kg per centimeter square gauge. Never use a 0 to 7 kg per centimeter square gauge because we don't really know what the bursting strength of this particular corrugated box would be. So we do it first. We open this gauge, set the dummy needle, which is the needle which is going to stop and give you the accurate reading, and we press the button here. If you see over here, the bursting would happen, and there the bursting happens. The reading over here is showing as 8 kg per centimeter square. So you can well imagine if I had used a 0 to 7 kg per centimeter square gauge, we would have crossed the limit and not got the right results. So this has been the bursting which has occurred. Now for other finer aspects of how to change the diaphragm or put in the glycerine, keep watching more of our videos on the maintenance aspect of this instrument. And whenever you need more information, please contact us on info at prestogroup.com or just subscribe below to our channel and we would be very happy to support you anytime 24 by 7. We exist because of you and we are there to serve you. All the best.